If you have experienced a deceptive site or dangerous site notification on a website you've created for yourself or for your client, this video will be a helpful guide for you to navigate your way through removing this on your website. Now, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to remove a deceptive site or dangerous site notification just as what you can see on my screen right here. This is actually a website for a client and you can see that us on this website you are trying to visit might trick you into installing stuff or revealing things like your password phone created card um, numbers chrome and stuff like that so if you've gotten any notification like this on your website you've created for yourself or your client this video will be a helpful guide for you to remove that so guys what actually causes um, this notification to pop up on your website or for a work you've done is not basically that your domain has an issue or um, the hosting you're using for your domain is uh, faulty or let's say the web script you're using for the configuration of this the website is faulty also but basically one of the causes of this could be from maybe when you're creating this website you made use of the chrome browser to um you know, to develop the website or um a related website that has similar domain as yours is is a scam website and it has been flagged a scam website before so if you're creating something like a replica of that chrome while they are doing some upgrade may actually flag your own website as a deceptive site or dangerous site so guys i just want to show you a quick step on how you can remove this deceptive site from your website so without further ado let's get started so now the first thing you need to do is um come over to your browser whenever you're doing this so i just want to come over to my browser now and what you just have to do right here is to search for um google search console okay yeah the search console um so, so just come to your browser make sure you're logged in to um you can see that my uh, email account is logged in so make sure you're logged in and then you're just going to search for the google search console so you can see that google search console through you can see that so make sure you're signed in your username um your email rather so just come here and click on um start now so improve your performance on google search so let's just click on start now so you can see what we have here welcome to google search console to start select property type so now i just want to go back and then copy um the url of my website so just come back to the website that is flagged the deceptive Control a to select or then Control c to copy so i'm just Control a Control c so i'm just going to come back to my google search console i'm going to select this one and i'm going to paste so once i do that i'm going to click on continue so it's checking verification so once this is done we are going to proceed to the next step whoa so you can see what we have here now um there are recommended this first one is the recommended verification method now most times i actually go with this second one the html tag because this one is more um per se to me is easier you just have to get this code and then paste it as you can see here it says copy the meta tag below and paste into your site some page it should go into the head and then before the body segment you understand so but if you're good we can still just go with this so let me just download this now and it's downloading your is downloaded already for me so what you just have to do once you're here now is you're going to log into the c panel management of your website so what we just have to do is we are going to log into the cpanel now and then get to upload this now you see the information here it says download the file upload to the public underscore html of your domain name so now let's get back to my cpanel so right here this is my cpanel and you can see that right here also it says that the website is dangerous so but we are going to proceed so first thing you need to do is just come here and locate your file manager and i'm going to go over to my file manager well you can see what it still says so let's just click on this and then we click on proceed to site on save so you see so by the end of this video you are not going to be getting this notification that pops up right here so i'm just going to click on public underscore html so i'm going to upload that that we downloaded so you see it's still showing this but don't worry 
um this verification is going to clear that out of our website so i just downloaded this so this is it so it's um what is uploaded for me and i'm going to just come back here and then i'm going to click on verify and it's verifying this may take a minute so let's wait for that to get verified whoa we can see it says ownership is verified and verification method is so you can see so now once we are done with this i just want next thing we need to do just click on um go to property and whoa we can see that um this is the overview of that so you can see that it have um the security issues we got is one we just have one security issue detected so let's just see a full report okay see it says we have one deceptive page so that is one of the issues so um let's request a review so these are this is basically the process i follow to review my most of my websites and um they are going to get um verified in a little time so we have all issue we are fixed so make sure you check all issues we are fixed then what was done to fix the issue now come here and then write a short um review that will make them um release your website now see what i'm just going to do right here um i'm just going to write a short i'm just going to say um the website this website something like that is being used for educational purpose purpose and for um, let's say for samples for sample okay let's just say sample is used for educational purpose and for practicals 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 and comma and we do we don't allow any form of um um, okay, and we do not accept allow any illegal illegal actions. Full stop. So I can just come under here and do something like kindly review and get my website back online so i'm good with this so if you are if it's okay just um what do we have here so i just submit your request and it says request submitted successfully so you just have to wait a little couple of let's say most times within and within 24 hours they're going to release um, um the domain and your website will be fully active you get so now let's just leave that for now so it's okay so with this you can actually get your website reviewed and um it's going to get back to its normal state without being and um, showing the deceptive sites ahead okay guys so after about 12 hours um my domain has been reviewed my domain that had um deceptive site notification before now it is reviewed and my domain is active so guys if you followed my procedure in this video um you're going to get this exact same result so if this is the first time you're seeing any of our videos we share educating videos of this sort so subscribe to our channel like this video and most importantly i want you to go to the comment section and leave a comment below and say deceptive site so that this is going to help the youtube algorithm to show this video to like minds of developers out there who is getting this kind of error on 
a website is, that they've created for their clients so guys thank you and i'm going to see you in our next video